Welcome back to my horde. So, um, yeah, I don't really know where I want to start with this. Uh, it's been one of those weeks where it feels like nothing really got done, and there's nothing really to add to the podcast. But, um, I think, um, I think there was an audio issue with, uh, our one video there. The Yggdrasil stuff? Yeah. For some reason, the way I had it set up, it uh, didn't work. So I set up a different way and recorded uh, the YouTube series. And that seemed to work. So I'll be uh, keeping it the way it is now. Hopefully it stays good. Um, with that... Uh, try like explain it. Um, we come on, cats. Why are you crawling over me right now? We record things on certain days, and I record a week in advance. So for YouTube, which comes out on Sunday, uh, I recorded on this Thursday before the Wednesday or Thursday beforehand. Koshka, please don't. Koshka, please don't. She's trying to play with the bag. I'm trying to not have, like, a bunch of crazy noise behind me. Um. Okay, stop. I'm just going to take your bag away from you. Anyway. Um. Then that night, usually I record YouTube. Oh, sorry. Uh, I record YouTube that night, but earlier in that day, I usually record. So it's usually a Wednesday, I remember now. Me and Tammy usually record her series. So because of that, which comes out on Friday, that Friday. Anything that happens between um, the, the Wednesday to the Sunday, I don't address. And anything that happens afterwards, I don't address until uh, Thursday. Uh, but I actually did get extra subscribers between recording it and before it even came out. I got like two more subscribers. So when I actually play again, I'll actually add those two people. Um, I record the podcast on my phone versus on the computer just so that, you know, I don't have to do the setup. Even though we could do the setup now, it's just like, I would have to record something like on the screen and then remove the recording. So just yeah. recording audio is fine. I guess I could record it inside the program. Oh, and I don't like this at all. Next time we're not doing it over here at all. Yeah. Tim was like, do you want to come to me and to my spot this time? I'm like, fine, we'll go sit in your spot this time. So I got and sat in her spot, and I can actually hear an echo. There's enough crap in my section, I don't hear the echo. Because it ricochets off everything else. <clears throat> if you don't know how an echo theoretically works with a room, it's the idea that uh, because I have so much stuff in my room... The echo is quite fast, but on Tammy's section of the room, I guess everything is just far enough away that uh, there's a delay in your voice coming back to you, which creates the echo. Yeah, it's open enough to actually have that happen. I don't notice it, obviously, because... Your voice doesn't hit, hit a decibel level <laughs> large enough for it to actually ricochet back. <laughs> I can't help it. I just don't talk very loud. Um, our plants have uh, the the um garden plants have been slow this week on growing, though. Um, that's kind of understandable. The last few days, our town has been confused on if it wants to be winter, spring, or summer. 
Yeah, I think it actually Snowed. tried to snow this morning. Yeah. Slash afternoon. And then we have Pumpkin, who's definitely just hanging out with us just a few months ago. Walk away from us. Meow down the hallway. And then come back when we start talking his name. Come on. You can hang out with us. Um, and then, yeah, I'm supposed to be doing Magic and the new series on uh, Sunday night. Is so when I'm probably going to record that. I don't know. I'm just glad that I'm... We also record this podcast on Sunday. I'm, I'm just glad I can actually, like, keep up on what stuff you need for thumbnails and outros and yeah, all that stuff. I'm working on some other stuff in regards to your Twitch channel. Yeah, so. I'm trying to do a weekly uh, chat podcast kind of thing. Kind of similar to this, except it's with my one friend, and we're going to talk about like anything and everything. Uh, right now, it's just like once randomly a week, because he started a new job. So because he started a new job, he's running into the problem that he's not quite sure when he'll become available. But we're trying to set it up. It's supposed to be this Monday. It was supposed to be last week, Wednesday. But then I contacted him. He's like, ah, oh, dude, I work. Like, I picked up a couple extra shifts and whatever. Because one girl quit. So, I work, you know, that day. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then, uh, he's like, so I got, like, Monday, Tuesday off. I'm like, okay, well, we'll go from there. So, yeah, um, I'm playing some more Memories of Mars, just yeah. kind of bombing around. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get the achievement in that game, so it's slow because there's a lot of like end game grind before you can get the achievements. Yeah, and on top of that, uh, um, to me at least, I classify the enemies in. Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. Yeah. The area that we made our base, a lot of the enemies are Tier 1. A couple of the towns and a couple of the missions start giving you Tier 2. I ran into an area where I start getting into Tier 3. So because I start getting into Tier 3, it's a lot harder to deal with. Because some of them are just, like, brutal enemies. Like, there's these little guys that just, um... Shoot missiles at you. And then the, as they progress, they become bigger and they start shooting like mortars at you and shit. Not to mention you don't like the sniper scuttlers. Oh yeah, those guys are just irritating. The reason they're irritating is because they snipe you and keep backing up. Which is fine if you uh, use a sniper rifle until you realize that the game has a really weird... Uh, problem with sniper rifles in which your bullets kind of only go a certain distance. So because they only go a certain distance, uh, you could actually like be shooting at an enemy, and it could just literally be just barely outside your range, but they can still shoot you. Yeah. And then there's the fun glitch where my bullets go through people. Yeah. Or through the robots. Yeah. Or, like, the one time Tammy's, like, watching me, because I, like, I'm trying to see the distance of the sniper rifle. And I'm shooting this guy. And Tammy's like, you're hitting him, but you're not hitting him. I'm like, that's weird. And she's like, yep. Dude, what? Pumpkin! Fuck, oh, man, my eyes just hurt. Fuck. When we went to go check up on the plants right before recording this, um, the cat's, like, jumping into that room. And they went to go jump into that room, and I grabbed him, and his tail smashed me in the face. And it's fine, not a big deal, but because I'm allergic to cats, he, I think his uh, tail just basically went into my eye and actually made it itchy as fuck. So I'm trying to deal with that. I took uh, allergy medication, but... It takes like 30 minutes or 40 minutes to work. So. 
I'm gonna have to just deal with it. On top of which, now I'm getting snuffly because of it. Yeah. So it's even worse. And I'm actually gonna blow my nose. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I think Koshka actually left the room. Okay. I took the bag away from her, and she's like, well, then I'm out of the room. But yeah. I think that's basically really it. Like, that's all we've been doing most of the week, besides the uh, Friday plan uh, watching The Winter Soldier. Uh, Falcon and The Winter Soldier. Um, I really think that we haven't done much this week. Oh, Tammy made uh, tea. She saw... Uh, we've been watching uh, on YouTube, we've been watching compilations of D&D &D, um, TikToks. And one of them is a guy by, like, goes by the name of Quincy. And he made uh, raspberry white tea and called it Health Potion. So Tammy wanted to actually try that. So Tammy made a raspberry white tea. Well, and it's, it's a more of a American style sweet tea because it's made with actual tea and honey and other things and actual raspberries and whatnot. I thought it was really good. Dude, I'll, what are you doing? I'll probably end up making it again. Um, I have different types of tea, so maybe I'll do variants where it's actually raspberry tea with raspberry bits, or I'll do the white tea with strawberry, or maybe white tea and blueberries. We'll see. Yeah. No, he, he was, uh, Tammy was cuddling him. And then he started flipping and flopping. So she's like, okay, fine, here. And then he wanted to sit with me. And then I was like, okay, cool, man. We'll sit together. And I was like holding him. And he's like, starts like freaking out. I'm like, what the frick, man? And then I moved my hand to him. And he just sat down calmly and just like, and I sat down. I was like, what the hell, dude? That made no sense. Whatever. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think today... Uh, Tammy's going to run me through, uh, today of recording, which is Sunday, uh, we're going to be doing a, um, what's call it there? I'm going to try and co-pilot you through something. Yeah. Yeah. Co-pilot me through a game, give me a hundred percent. So, and then, yeah, hopefully on Monday... Uh, as of recording this, so it'll be in the past for you guys. Uh, I'll be playing Memories of Mars with everybody. And on Tuesday, hopefully the same. I know uh, I had said that I was going to um, move some of my Twitch videos over to YouTube uh, a month later. And I may still do that, but for a while there, I was thinking about not doing it. Because I may have to find games... Or I may have to figure out which ones people are in and just get rid of them. So I'm not talking to myself. So any solo game will just probably put up there. Okay. But any one of the ones where I'm actually talking to, like, you or Chris or whatever, I may just delete for until, like, more recently. Just because you were having audio issues? Yeah, because you guys aren't heard at all. Like, it's just me he ain't heard. Mm. Um, what happened was, you know when I was trying to figure out why it wasn't working in my headset? I accidentally deleted one of the, the layers, audio layers, mm. which was literally you guys. And I didn't realize that until, like, much later. Jokingly, so you only you could have hear, uh, only you could hear the voices. Yeah. <laughs> There were just voices in my head that I was talking to him. Yep. So I'll deal with that. Um, so I don't know how many I'm going to actually move over. But on a week, I could, 
usually on a week I stream, uh, what is it, like the least, I think three? It's usually three to four days. Three days is my lowest. And then my highest is usually six days. Mattering on the week. The reason I say that is because on certain weeks, um, me and Tammy uh, roleplay with our friends. So this after uh, as recording of this one slash when you're uh, the release date of this one on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I uh, we roleplay with two different groups. I was going to do Mondays as well, but apparently certain people aren't wanting to play, and certain people are like, oh, I just want to focus on one of them. So, yeah, we're not doing it. And I'm done suggesting it. So, we'll see what happens. You know, like, it's, I don't know, it, it, I don't, don't, don't want to complain. Because, you know, again, trying not to complain all the time. But just sometimes it feels like I'm the only one that, like, reaches out. Yeah. And be like, hey, well, do you guys want to do this? Like, um, sometime in the week I was playing Memories of Mars. Um, Chris signed on and started playing one of his games, which is perfectly fine. You can play a game, whatever. But... The, the fact that he didn't, like, message me, like, hey, you know, do you want to play with me? Like. It's or, like. Lack of initiated. Yeah. By others. Like, it would have been cool if, like, he just, like, signed on to Memories of Mars while me and Tammy were playing. Just the three of us played. That would have been awesome. But. It never really happens that way a lot of the time. So, but I hope my one friend gets an Xbox uh, soon. Because if he actually gets an Xbox pretty soon, then I can actually start encouraging him to play when he's got free time. And... Yeah, she'll be awesome. Yeah, may mean I have to actually wake up earlier in the day. <laughs> yeah, because he's a he's an early bird. Yeah, you're a night owl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not bad. It's, I've been waking up slightly earlier a lot of the time. I used to wake up at like 5.30 every day. And then it started becoming 4.30 every day. And now it's become like 3... Uh, somewhere between noon and 3. Depending on when I go to sleep and stuff like that. I know the last two days I've been waking up... Around one. Yeah, I woke up an hour earlier than I wanted to. I had a feeling it was going to happen this time around. Yeah. Yesterday I slept for nine hours, and then this time my body, like, fought to sleep for eight. I'm like, <laughs> I just want to sleep. Yeah, I was having some weird dreams. It kept hurting my tongue. Oh. Odd, but sucky. I don't know if I woke up and it was actually like a dream or not, but I remember waking up and just like feeling like my entire like pillow was just like soaked in certain areas. Mm. I was drooling. But I don't know if that was actually a dream or not. So. It's always an interesting little thing. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got. Really. I can't think of anything else to really say. You have anything else? Mm -hmm. I know you don't come up with a lot of things to say. No. I have to research something for D and D because it's a class I've never played before. So. Tammy is wanting to maybe do a solo, where it's just me and her occasionally playing. Yeah, I don't know how well it's going to work out considering the. 
class, but... Yeah, you can go on. Tell them of the class. It's, um... An artificer, but it's for... Uh... D&D 3.5, not D&D 5e. Because... I'm not a huge fan of the newer stuff, so... And the write-up for the 3.5 version is very long, so it's going to be a thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to just sit there, and I'm going to have to read it. Eventually. Yeah. So. Um, Marrying on certain things, I may make a character with her. But yeah, I may actually make a character... Um, to be her companion while she plays. So there's actually two people. And yeah. The uh. Maybe on what time you want. So I may make a Warforged. Yeah that'll be pretty cool. Yeah I don't know what race or anything yet. But. Yeah. Yeah you can always. idea. Yeah. Yeah. No like you can always take your time. Just research it. Figure out. And like that's something that meantime you may do. I'm going to try to encourage her to uh, draw the character whenever we do these kind of things. So at, at least then she gets um, uh, something out of it. <clears throat> I'm trying to uh, not, you know, be sniffling mess over here. Oh, this sucks. Allergy sucks so much. By the way, yeah, no, I was thinking about doing a... Uh, Warforged or something like that because, you know, an artificer kind of, I don't know, a Warforged and an artificer kind of look like he should go together a little bit. Yeah. But when you're looking into your stuff, when you're actually done you're looking into it, then you can get back to me. And yeah. I can actually uh, find a bunch of pre-builds and we can run you through pre-builds and stuff. Sometimes I feel like my brain shouldn't be allowed to think of things. Yeah, what's up? Because you're like, I should, you know, I'll be like a Warforged or something. And then my brain's like, you know, if you hollow out your body capacity and I play a no, I could just, you know, hang out inside. Yeah. And I'm like, mm, why did I think of that? <clears throat> that would be weird. <laughs> it's kind of like the um, gnome and uh, uh, half-orc half we orc. had once. <laughs> um, the idea behind it is the fact that... Uh, the half orc would walk around the tower shield, and which had like covered in spikes and like spikes even pointing down at the ground. And as he's like carrying the shield around, or whatever, uh, there is a gnome sleeping inside the shield. And then when the um, when combat starts, he would take the shield and slam it into the ground, and the spikes would actually embed into the ground, making it like a. Uh, a wall, basically. Waking up the gnome. He then he pull his two swords out. The half-orc would pull uh, yeah. his two swords. And he would go into combat. And people would just be like, oh, the, he left his shield. That's weird. But then there's like this little slit that could be pulled open on the shield. And then, oh, I just turned on your Xbox. But I don't. Anyway. And, uh, the little gnome would slit it open and like take his repeating crossbow and just like start like picking off people. <laughs> So he'd be like under full cover. Yeah, no. I remember. It was definitely a weird little combo, but it was funny. In my opinion, it worked, but. Yeah. Some GMs probably be like, nah. Well, theoretically, <clears throat> your character would always take penalties uh, uh, because he'd be groggy when he first woke up. But. We never played with that. Yeah. But yeah, that would be the major thing for that would be the constant character would be groggy. But yeah, it was just supposed to be like, you know, something silly that we were doing, so. But yeah, like there's other stuff that we can actually eventually start doing. No, uh, uh, the idea I had recently was going to be the fact of playing D20 Modern. <clears throat> no one's really played D20 Modern before out of the group. Well, it's some of us have played it, like, but we've never really played it, if that makes sense. Like, I think me, Tammy, 
Chris and his wife out of the uh, people I was asking. I was asking six people besides me. And out of that, um, Tammy and uh, like the people I just already listed have actually played a campaign in it. Uh, it didn't go far and the GM was very uh, unwilling to expand it. And then I think we played once with Chris's wife jamming us. But that one was like very, very, very limited as well. I was going to say, I think one of them we didn't even make it out of a session just because it went sideways. Yeah, I don't know if it went sideways. It's just, yeah. But anyway, so like we haven't played it a lot. But <clears throat> what I was thinking about doing was actually having them just like, you know, make characters. Now, like, there's occupations, so they'd have occupations. They'd actually have like day to day lives. And then what would happen is, as they're having day to day lives and everything's going <clears throat> okay ish, uh, an event happens and they're all kind of thrown together and they kind of have to survive. So. It would be interesting to see where they go from there. Seeing what kind of professions they take. You know, stuff like that. That was the idea, but uh, Chris doesn't want to... He's not feeling it. And the other guy wants to wait until his other campaign is completely done. Because he's I don't know if he's afraid that we were going to, like, not do his campaign. Or if he just doesn't want to put, like, cancel on the days to add a different day. I don't know. Or if he just doesn't want to do three days a week. Or if he doesn't want to, like... Uh, because his wife is new to the series. Like, role-playing in general. And also, his wife is very, like... Attention span of a freaking goldfish sometimes. He's kind of... I don't think he wants to, like, divert her to two different characters. Yeah. But, whatever. It just sucks because... <clears throat> it seems like a lot of the time I'm the only one that wants to actually do it. And then, like... You know... They don't say anything about it, and don't say anything about it, and don't say anything about it. I'm like, okay, I guess I am the only one that wants to do anything about it, like, any roleplay at all, so I'll just leave you guys alone. So, yeah. I'm just gonna leave them alone, and just play with Tammy instead. Create little characters with Tammy. Do solos. Run her through some pre-builds. The reason I'm going to go with pre-builds is just because the fact that then I have... Uh, like, when I'm playing with, like, a group, I usually have an idea and I just make up stuff. But when I'm playing with just, like, one person, I, like, usually stick into pre-builds. Because the fact that uh, as I'm doing pre-builds with them, um, then there's a guideline that I'm sticking with. And instead of just giving Tammy everything she wants. And there's also... The, uh, if you're, if it's on something that you're not used to playing or whatever, it kind of gives you an idea of like, okay, I should have done this instead, or like, it gives you kind of a building block to work off of to, for character development. Yeah, so I'll probably just do that. Run you through, uh, I'll find a bunch of the pre builds and just run you through a couple of the different series as we progress. Yeah. So, like, you can make different characters and you can run through that and then. At the end, you can have a bunch of, like, level 12 characters. Example. So, it just means that when we do this, I have to make her a little bit stronger than I would normally make her. Mostly because then she can actually compete with, like, usually uh, most modules are meant for a party of four. Four non-paladin people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to actually check that out as we progress. 
Does a Paladin screw up every module? Or is it just the ones that Chris was running? Chris ran a bunch of modules at one point, and me being a Paladin had screwed up uh, at least half the modules. Yeah. It was actually that one that we had the most issues with that uh, it didn't screw up. But that's because of the fact that someone casted a using a scroll, cast a spell using a scroll without having the scroll anywhere near them. And that was the part that pissed me off the most. They apparently memorized the scroll and like could like cast a spell without actually seeing the scroll. But I'm like, that doesn't make sense because as far as I understand, you need to have the scroll because that's where all the magic is. Yeah. It would have been fine for me if the scroll was on the person. So like they had like taped it to their back or something. Memorized how to do it still. But when they casted the spell, it was like touching them. Yeah. That would have been fine with me. But, oh well. Uh, we're going to disappear from here. So, unless there's anything else you want to add? No. Nope. Okay. Well, until next time. <sighs> See you later, my horde.